Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to this early morning broadcast. In case you are wondering who is here, I still remain your one and only Okute Daily Talk. I never change. That your broadcaster with a difference. And I always bring to you the news of the nation or the world at large at your doorsteps at every point in time. And if you never subscribe to my channel, please endeavor to do that anytime soon. Make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified this time we go live. Or I post something on this channel or another channel related to Okute Daily Talk. You're not going to see the normal me. Everything today has to be chaff, 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 chaff. That is agane, 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 pam, 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 pam. You get it? Uh -huh, because uh, there's no time to waste. Time is money. So let us move straight into the business of the day. We take the headlines or we can as, as well do it the way we used to do it. But something has to be changed in the, the way I used to handle my things. Controversy trials indefinite suspension of Mazen Namdekano, a uh, younger brother from Biafra Group. It don't happen, no, this one that happened for those state. The governor of uh, Obaseki, he don't, he, 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 he don't turn the hand of clock fast out for PDP. So please, if you are a PDP supporter, just wait for October 25th so that you can vote for PDP. Because uh, Obaseki, on your nancy no noka. He tell the supporters, say me the vote at Chiku on October 25th during rally. Imagine, confusion everywhere. PDP is confused, APC is confused. They don't even know what is happening to them. They don't even know that the blood of the innocent that these two uh, uh, parties that have shared in Nigeria is that is uh, the blood have returned for revenge. And that is exactly why they are having confusions every now and then. Bear it in mind or believe it or believe it that APC and PDP they are dead on arrival, according to uh, what is uh, the name of uh, this uh, Abado presidential candidate. Uh -huh. He went about, he said, the issues are dead on arrival. I don't know what is dead on arrival. Whether he is dead on arrival, I cannot say. But whichever way it is, just know it that 2023 is not for PDP, neither is it for APC. They are dead on arrival. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. Yes, so there's nothing anyone can do about it. They have, they have the, the, the innocent blood that have been shed on this country called Nigeria under those two regimes. My dear, it is alarming. And we cannot continue this way. The population of Nigeria is keep on de uh, decreasing. Yeah? Whereby Nigeria, they are not in, even, even if they cannot achieve anything, at least let them be uh, uh, competing with uh, China and uh, India in the highest population. Uh -huh. See, their government is not good. Even the resources that the, the God gave to them, they cannot even use it to, 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 to make the, 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 the life of the entities better. Let them continue burning now. But as we multiply, the government is the other hand, they, 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 they multiply the, the population, which is very, very bad. It don't happen in 2023. Reactions as Obaseki tells supporters to vote uh, Atiku Abubaka on October 25th during rally. <laughs> While another finish, exclusive chief of defense staff for oh, Irabo, don't come out to, oh, you don't begin the big DSS. Both say may they delay the arrest of Nigerian Central Bank Governor, MFLA, and Secret Police ramps up pressure. This one will happen for Enugu State to the occupants uh, and the indigents of Enugu that don't complain. Uh, in second, say the Enugu State residents uh, don't lament to say sit at home. Uh, they are unable to use banking, uh, and as January 31st, the deadline for old currencies approaches. Peter will be react to gruesome killing of Imo uh, local government Bozu or Hizu. Imo local government Bozu, Chai, Nigeria. Not even Nigeria, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Imo State. Hmm. The blood of the innocent they are shed on that very, very state. Yeah? It is alarming. Let us continue with our news, my dear people. Please tighten your seatbelt as we take off because this, this, this uh, broadcast, I'm going to, I, I am going to do it chamfer, chamfer. Just cut and join, cut and join, cut and join, cut and join to get uh, things out of it because I really want to give something out there to the public for my people this very morning. Confusion and contradiction have trailed the indefinite suspension of Mazi. Okay, Mr. Kinsili, Kano, popularly known as Kanonta, a younger brother to Namde Kano, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, over alleged anti ipop activities. Sahara reporters on Monday report that Kanonta's indefinite suspension by German branch of IPOP was disclosed in a statement titled Suspension of IPOP membership 
of Mr. Kinsley Kanu, aka Kanunta, and signed by the group's national coordinator, Mr. Colin Suchine Edu. The statement made available to Sahara reporters alleged that the IPOP leader's younger brother had been using uh, his affiliation with his elder brother to act against the code of conduct of the group. He was also accused of placing himself above every IPOP rule and discipline in Germany and worldwide. But in a counter statement, one Obenna Abraham, who claimed to be IPOP legitimate national coordinator in Germany, said that uh, Mr. Collins Chinedu was expelled from IPOP by the IPOP leader Kano on November 28th of 2022. The statement read, this is to formally notify all members of IPOP family and general public that Mr. Collins Chinedu was expelled from IPOP by Mazit Nam De Kano. This was made public and official by Mazit Nam De Kano on the 28th day of November in the year 2022. Through Barisa Aloy Ijimako. So the Konda address say, please, they are talking to the general public. This is guarded information coming from him as he is no longer the national coordinator of Germany and neither is he a member of the Apple family at large. So he no longer possesses the power or authority to suspend anyone or take any decision on behalf of the family. That is the Apple family. Need I remind us that Mazin Namde Okechuku Kano is and remains the highest authority so far as the present IPOP is concerned. Every member of IPOP is expected to respect and work under the authority because he has sacrificed a lot for his uh, for this cause. He would be here if he had not uh, stood his ground. His intentions are pure and so are his decisions. So let all of us Kept this in mind before we decide to defy his instructions. Sahara reporter recalled that on November 28th of 2022, after his routine visit to Nam De Kano in the Department of Space Service in Abuja, Kano's lawyer, Aloya Jimako, announced on his Twitter page that Kano had directed that a memo should be made, should be made announcing Uben Abraham as interim national coordinator of IPOP in Germany. Today, I had a visit with Onyendu and he asked me to make it public that he, uh, that uh, he had asked one of his lawyers to do a memo to Mazicheka, a dozium, to announce Obenna Abraham as the new interim coordinator for Germany and that a dozium and the lawyer who did the memo can confirm this, Ejimako has announced. So that is all. You need to know about the suspension of Kano, Kano that is Mazinam the Kano's younger brother from the Apple family. All is happening in the area that is over there in Europe. 2023 reactions are so basically done the test of so also made on the vote article coming October uh, 2023 uh, during the rally. So make on our way to now November, October, uh, PDP go do their own election. As for APC, Labour Party, Kwan Kwaso, and the rest of them, make gonna get ready next month for the elections. PDP, please, you people should wait for November uh, of 25th, 2023. The Doe State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, has packed reactions after erroneously giving a wrong date for the forthcoming presidential election of February 25th, 2023. Confusion everywhere. Confusion have been in their midst for a very long time now, and that confusion will continue like that until... Uh, uh, even uh, they will be being confusion on the election will be conducted and finished, and they will still be in confusion. Nigeria will report that the Delta State uh, Governor and Vice uh, Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Ifan Yokowa, shut down a popular market in Asaba, Obo Obongo Market, and schools in Asaba, the state capital for the party's campaign rally holding at the Stephen Keshi Stadium. During the rally, Obasado, Obas, Obaseki third Deltans and the Delta supporters have concluded plans for voting for the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar, according to him. According to him, there is no way in all in the all progressive congress APC, unlike PDP and the party will win the election by a landslide. At the conclusion of the speech, Obasaki all supporters to come out in mass to vote Atiku on October of 20, 25th of 2023. Confusion everywhere. This reaction from some netizens. So please 
Uh, give me uh, some minutes of your time. We know to read the reactions from some netizens over the microblogging uh, site or website called Twitter. So let us take the reactions as we proceed with our news. For you to know what our people think because these are the electorates who will also be at the pool to vote coming this uh, 20, I mean, coming 25th of February. At Odogu, Nomso wrote to Obi, we win Delta State by a mind, not to talk of a do state. Lo, been to both states recently, and I know politicians are not real. Any, anywhere, anywhere, Delta will vote P to Obi on February 25th and Okowa on October 25th. Yes, of course, that is uh, the gospel truth. At Mana, Matthew wrote, Obaseki is a woman. <laughs> the only reason a do state voted him was to eliminate politics of Godfatherism in our state by 2024 his own tenure will be over the only good news i have for atiku abubaka is that obasaki cannot win p2b even inside his own house not to talk of uh, pulling unit then uh, at Niger spider road to well to be fair a lot people uh, they go vote for p2b during the election on february 25th if the message where those people give obasaki now for october 25th uh, that be say a lot people don't carry their PDP governor handicap. <laughs> At the crazy Ojomao wrote to my guy saying October 25th, even the nurse plenty pass. Anyway, will be going for February 25th. Atiku can wait for his October 25th mandate. On I hear Ramu, that's where the thing they go, and I saw with the take one after the other. At uh, a Tom Cruise, he don't wrote to say, she be in October 25th. Uh, be him own election now, nah. okay. Our own February 2050. That's what people come to the inside the matter. At uh, Yoka Road, to ha ha ha, this is uh, this uh, uh, okay. Just as I was getting angry for him, Obasaki lying that they don't send him to tell PDP that they will give them 1.5 million votes. I was frowning and squeezing my face. Fiam, he told them. <laughs> Hey, wait till October 25th. After Fido Pito must have finished his 100 days in office as president. Chai, <laughs> I shake my head. At Zege 1, 2, 3 route, October 25th, they are causing themselves by themselves. Ubi will win February 25th. I think good votes. Wise on October 25th. A memo. At the Iron Wanda road to where you thought uh, Tunumbu was leading as the number one in matters of uh, golf. Boom, Obasaki came from behind with a landslide. We can now finally say Obasaki is the undefeated champion of golf. October 25th is coming. At obedient child road to we agree with this one who ah, after P2B and that must have declared winners of February 25th election, Edo and Delta State will come for uh, uh, for vote at Chiku and Okowa in 25th. No problem with that one. They say they agree the this, uh, 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 what they call it, the, 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 the arrangement. So, uh, Baseki, you don't hear a move, make it continue with your October 2050 election. Uh, exclusive chief of defense staff, uh, Irabo, that the Mumu staff, he don't come out to do the big DSS. He made an arrest the central bank governor, will be a MFL as a secret police ramps up pressure. So, so pressure the combo, say this man, they must baba. What did the man do? Since he say he don't go joy change uh, naira uh, naira color, I be he don't go penta. But only them the talk waking happen. I be now because of uh, the deadline we give for old naira, they won't make his stand them after elections. This uh, government here, yeah, they don't the plan how they want to do vote buying. This man will come out from nowhere, come back them. Anyway, let us read the news. No waiting the talk for the news. The chief of defense staff, General Lucky Rabo. He is currently lobbying the Director General of the Secret Police Department of State Service. He has said on behalf of the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele. Sarah Reporters uh, this week he has learned the DSS of State uh, Security Service, SSS, has accused the CBN Governor of being involved in the financing of terrorism, which has no concrete evidence. That is fallacy. It's a preliminary investigation uh, revealing various acts of terrorism financing fraudulent activities. Uh, Operated by MFLA and his involvement in economic crimes of national security dimension, according to them or according to the report. 
But the Federal High Court, too, in my time of Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, recently issued an order restraining the DSL from arresting, uh, detaining, or questioning MFLA, according to the news we had earlier on. MFLA returned to the country from the United Kingdom on Monday after delaying his return for some time, following moved by the DSS to arrest and question him over a wide range of alleged criminal activities. I beg, make to show us the evidence. But while he was still away, some of uh, uh, sources in the DSS told the Sarah reporters that they were aware that MFLA had deliberately decided to delay his return to Nigeria. They, however, noted that the secret police would arrest the Apex Bank governor regardless of his antics and the recent court ruling. However, according to the report, where Sahara reporters learned on Wednesday that the DSS ramped up pressure to ensure the arrest and interrogation of Mefele, but amid the moves, there have also been appeals by some Nigerians in high places, including Associate of, uh, Associate of President Mamadou Buhari on behalf of the Central Bank of Nigeria, that is Maman Daura. The latest of such appeals came from the Chief of Defense Staff, Irabo who had been begging on his behalf of a MFLA, a top government source, those are reporters this Wednesday morning. The DSS are ramped up pressure on uh, arresting the CBN governor, but the chief of defense staff has begged the DSS uh, Director General Bichi to let him finish some projects he's working on, the source said. Last October, a MFLA announced the introduction of new Naira nodes to be in circulation from December 15, 2022 and circulated alongside the old nose to January 31st of 2023. But less than two weeks before the deadline, banks still issued the old nose as the new nose have been relatively scarce from the market, according to demo. Upon a MFLS return to the country from the United Kingdom on Monday, Sarah reporter reported that the Arab deployed military personnel and intelligence officers to ensure the Apex Bank governor was not arrested by the DSS upon his arrival at the airport too. Sarah reporters on uh, Tuesday gathered from top source that MFLA, who was under the DSS radar for several weeks following the investigations of several allegations against him, including corruption and terrorism financing, was, sh was shaded by the military personnel provided by the CDH, the Chief Defense uh, Staff Office in Abuja. Sarah reporters had on Monday reported that the CBN governor headed to his office with massive uh, security. Uh, specifically, military protection following his return to the country. I couldn't find out Coco no by Roberto Jr. East Subban to know in your library. Meanwhile, Sarah reporters also learned that the Mephile had recruited the Oba of Benin, a Wuri too, to join the growing list of people fighting to prevent his arrest uh, and interrogation, according to the news we are getting from this place. Meanwhile, Sarah Report has also learned that MFLA has recruited okay, okay, we just MFLA has also recruited the upper of Benin to beg on his behalf, the source disclosed. Sarah Report has earlier uh, uh, reported that some associates of uh, President, President Buhari, led by his nephew, Maman Daura, and his close confidant, Kanu, Governor Nati Elu Five, leading the fight to stop the DSS from arresting MFLA. The pro MFLA group may also be behind various uh, protests, rallies, and news reports uh, supporting the CBN bulls against the DSS. The multiple groups and civil society organizations have raised alarm that there is a plot to frame MFLA for terrorism and remove him from office simply because he is working against the cabals. That is Nigeria for you. However, the DSS quickly warned against being used to undermine its investigation, although. He did not specifically name an FLA or whoever that is involved in this very shenanigans. Peter Afunanya, the DSS spokesperson, said the service will not be distracted by those seeking to use propaganda to undermine his uh, lawful investigations. Uh, however, the source had told the Sarah reporters that some monarchs, Obas and Emias, have been lobbied and deployed to beg on behalf of the FLA and convey the president and director general of the DSS of the need to let MFLA be. It was also learned that Maman Daura and Eru Fai were working hard and doing everything within their power to wage war against the DG of DSA, Yusuf Bichi 
not to arrest Mefele. They, 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 they have deployed Obas and Emias to beg on behalf of Mefele and Governor Nasir Erufai leading the child to fight for him. One of the sons said, Mefele was said to have helped the Kaduna governor secure a ward loan that a worth over 350 million US dollars. Mefele helped governor Erufai to secure 350 million World Bank loan out of which the governor made for himself 70% dollar after the cash was sold to Aliko Dangote for his business. Mefele has serious uh, stakes in 12 banks. He needs to explain how he got money to be a major stakeholder in 12 banks. He has stakes in Tita, Globus, Providence, Union Bank, big interest in First Bank and others. A source closed have disclosed, as said. Then on the other hand, Mamandara is still working hard for him not to be arrested. He is still waging war against the Director General of the GSS and other top uh, officials in the government team. This one, they happen to oh, they come live from Enugu State. The residents don't they complain. They say Enugu State resident lament eh, over the city at home and ability to use banks at January 31st deadline for all uh, currencies approaches. What are you people doing since December? That this one now is has become a thing of fast, fast, fast. Hey, my name is Ndibo, and Ndibo, I have bought some money. Let me know about the money. I'm not going to say Now everybody was on the, on the move now, on the rush now. Because uh, the deadline is 31st. Uh, as if uh, this sit at home this sit at home started today. Economic and social activities were paralyzed in Enugu State on Tuesday in compliance with the sit at home reportedly declared by Mazi Simon Epa and a claim discipline of the detained leader of uh, the indigenous people of Biafra, I put Mazi Namde Kano over his continued incarceration. Sarah reporters say report that schools, market banks most petrol stations were all closed down in total compliance compliance with the sit at home order in the southeast sahara reporters also we have monitored the development in abakaliki the boy state capital enugu omaya and anambra states observed that the sit at home was most effective in enugu as movement and economic activities were going on in other states including owere the Imo state capital in enugu it was observed that traders who came out for business but met markets uh, under lock and key were forced and key were forced to go back to their homes. Some of them who spoke to Sarah reporter said they had no period information as only Monday sit at home was still being observed in Enugu State. I don't expect another sit at home, according to them, uh, being Tuesday after Monday sit at home. I don't know what this particular sit at home is all about. Uh. Maybe Simon Epa is the one to explain this to the entire eastern region at large. Even the banks also observe the sit at home. How are we going to deposit the bank notes as you know that the deadline is Tuesday next week? Now Monday is sit at home. Today Tuesday is another sit at home. And the next week Monday is sit at home and the banks observe those sit at homes. So, so how many days do banks have to collect those old currency notes? They have only tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to work, and probably on Tuesday, January 31st, the day resident Mr. Chimwe, Chimwe, lamented the Mecca here world. That's all that they do. They bother about so many, or less than many, Mecca Safaro. This thing started since uh, January 15th. They are lamenting, oh, go and uh, deposit your old note, collect a new one, and no agree. Now, I don't come out now to cry, cry like a small baby. Okay, now. Maybe the uh, currency is there for your hand that the pie. Who lose you? No, the federal government, now you lose you. Sarah reporters report that uh, MNA, New Heaven, Abapa, GRA, Abani Road, and Obiago Road, and streets were deserted with a hand uh, full of people on the streets. Apart from a handful of military patrol uh, vans spotted at Namdaziki Way Stadium heading towards Obiago, and empty police vans strategically parked. At the Holy Ghost roundabout and obey the member Katie. There is a sign showing security presence. Meanwhile, there has been no report of any on, on towards incidents so far. Efforts of Sahara reporters to get police reactions were unsuccessful at the command spokesperson Daniel Ndukwe didn't pick his calls as the phone rang many times, according to Sahara reporters reporter. The last year but not the least. P2B, I don't know the concerning the killings of the Imo local government boss or Hizu. 
the presidential candidate of the People uh, Labour Party. It, uh, his name is uh, Peter Ubi, had condemned the killing of the sole administrator of the Dat North local government area of Imo State, Chris Ohiz, by a non government. Nigeria News report that Ohiz was beheaded by his abductors after the government were allegedly paid the sum of six million naira as ransom to release him. This one is politically motivated. So collecting ransom is just an adva added advantage. Someone, someone have already paid even more than that to behead that young man. That is Nigeria for you. In a video posted online on Sunday, the government insisted that there were no election in Nigeria, according to them. A source that spoke with Punch from the local government area claimed that the killers of his published videos of beheading the beheading with the phone of their victim on his uh, WhatsApp status. God, God have mercy. The source said the sole administrator has been beheaded. We saw videos of how he was being beheaded on Sunday. His killer posted it with his phone on his WhatsApp status. That was how people got to know that he was beheaded. Reacting to the killing, the Labour Party candidate via his verified Twitter page condemned the killing wireless commiserating with the family of the deceased. According to the former Anambra governor, things like this ought to, ought to happen, adding that insecurity in the southeast remains a cause for concern. In his words, I condemn the gruesome killings of Christopher Ohuiz, the that not local government chairman. Things like this ought to happen, ought not to happen. Insecurity remains a cause of concern. I commiserate with the Imo state government and the family of the deceased is written by His Excellency Dr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party. Look at the killings in Imo state. This is becoming is becoming unbearable. Is coming unbearable. This uh, this uh, incident killing of our people is is I mean it, it has turned to something else. I don't know what we will call this. Imo State has become a, 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 a den of uh, killers on every now and then. Anyway, only God knows what will happen. This one, another beggar for PDP, APC vice president candidate, Chetima visit uh, Fayose. Fayose happens to be PDP, not APC. So, what uh, triggered this visit? The vice presidential candidate of all progressive congresses, Chetima, on Tuesday, meet with the former governor of Eki State, Ayodele Fayose. The former governor of Bonu State confront, uh, confirmed his visit to Fayose in a post on his Facebook account. Shetima, in the post on his uh, account, appreciated Fayose, a member of the People's Democratic Party PDP, for welcoming him with a warmth and rear uh, camera dead daily. The APC vice presidential candidate also lauded the former governor of Eki State for his support. He prayed that God will bless him for hosting him and his team. Chetima in a post on his Facebook account, I paid my brother, former governor of Ekri State, His Excellency Ayodele Peter Fayose, a visit. The great Oshoko welcomed us with warmest and rare, uh, and rare uh, camaraderie. Thank you for your support and God bless you for hosting me and my team. The pictures of the visit is below. And your court case, let us talk about it on our sitting room. Tunumbu Belt former minister, Uche Oga. Presidential candidate of the APC, Bola Ame Tunumbu, has pleaded with the former minister of state for steel and mines uh, development, Dr. Uche Oga, to put an end to all court cases he filed over the Abia State governorship primaries and come and meet him to talk over the matter. Nigerian News recalled that Oga had earlier filed a suit challenging Ikechi Emenike as the governorship candidate of the party. Weighing in on the differences between the two men at the other state, other state, APC presidential and governorship campaign flag off at the Omaha Township Stadium on Tuesday, Tunumbu had explained that his position over the governorship dispute is clear to all as uh, Chief Ikechi Emenike has gotten the governorship flag of the party and should be supported to win these elections according to uh bola ahmed to number of the apc so my good people the lovers of freedom the lovers of mankind we are france and muslim brothers and christian uh, brothers and sisters as well 
this is where we are coming to the end of this broadcast if you are not subscribed to this channel endeavor to do that anytime soon and make sure you turn on the description button so that you'll be notified each time we go live or post something new on this channel please uh, one more time go and get your pvc vote and defend your vote coming uh, february 25th for the election of uh, apc and labor party and the other ones as for pdp please if you are a pdp supporter you should wait for october 25th so that you can exercise your voting right at the pool because that is the day that they will vote for Atiku and Okowa. You get it? If you don't get it, you forget it, okay? So this is where we are coming to the end of this broadcast. Please, endeavor to do what? Make this video, let it go viral. People need to know what is happening. And they also need to do what? They also need to comment on what is also happening. So my good people, this is where I, I, I have to carry my kaya. They go, kia kia. So that these people no, will not come here to meet me. Bye for now, my brother. Game is here, eh?